Hi, Ray. Hi, Vero. <laughs> it's such a wonderful opportunity to visit you in your land in Cape Town, and we are in a, such a beautiful place in the Karoo. Yes. <laughs> I know you are so passionate about the environment and uh, what's going on in our world today and the world we live in today is, is so much different than the one of our grandparents, our great-grandparents. Tell us a bit more about that. Well, uh, um, it's sort of pollution really um, and unfortunately, and there are hundreds of studies now on it, they found that a great deal of the pollution is um, estrogenic. The pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, all the, uh, many of the industrial chemicals um, have a very similar um, molecule to estrogen. And uh, because of the similarity, they have an estrogenic effect on any animal. And um, it doesn't matter whether it's a fish up to a mammal, they're all affected. Um, reptiles affected the whole lot. And um, it binds to uh, hormonally sensitive tissue, which then uh, causes the sort of estrogen signal to go forth. And there's, unfortunately, although there's huge number of studies, huge number of evidence of this endocrine effect, uh, uh, the authorities are not convinced. So we live with the problem and it just seems to be increasing. Um, when I first started doing progesterone, there were about 58 endocrine disruptors known. Now there are over 100 and that's 10, 15 years. And there are probably more by now. Um, the best site I think is Thea Coburn's site, um, Our Stolen Future, which lists them all and um, the studies too. So if anybody wants to see more, you know, learn more, they can go on her site. But I think it's a very real problem and um, I think that's one of the reasons I'm so keen on progesterone because it does have that anti-estrogen anti effect. So um, that's just one of the things progesterone can do. So um, obviously we, we should try and eliminate as many of the toxins as we can. But um, it's difficult. It's in our air, food, water, skin care. Sunscreens are, the, are the, one of the worst. And um, unless you read every label, which I'm afraid I do now, um, you, you're not going to know. And then when you do read the label, again, the, it's double Dutch. Um, there's an excellent site I refer to often, and that's the Environmental Working Group. They have um, done studies or, or tests on, on many of these pollutants, many of the ingredients go, that go into uh, particularly skin care, shampoos, etc. Um, and so you put in the, the, the term that you don't know, the word you don't know, and it will give you what it is and if there's any concern about it. And unfortunately, yes, most of them have got concerns. So it, to me, it's essential to look at what we're eating, what we put on our skin. And, and uh, in the environment, that excess of estrogen has showed up in so many ways. Can you tell us yes, more yeah. about that? Well, th the worst effect are those animals living in water, so your fishes and your reptiles. And they found uh, feminized fish um, in many rivers in the UK and England in particular, but they're finding them all over now. And um, the feminized uh, alligators, crocodiles, particularly in the States because the pollution there is, is so high. Um, uh, there was a case of a, of a lake in Florida where they had a, a spill, chemical spill, and the male um, crocodiles were severely affected, their, their testes, um, etc. And um, it's, uh, you know, they just have, you just have to look all over the world. And again, Thea Coburn's site is very good because she'll give examples. Um, paper, pulp mills, they the effluent goes into rivers and those uh, chemicals are estrogenic or they're androgenic or they affect the thyroid um, 
and um, we innocently swim in the river, fish in the river, eat fish from the river, and uh, are not aware of what's happening. Um, the Great Lakes was a, a, a bad case, but that was many years ago. Um, so it's, it's just to be aware of what is happening and do as much as you can to avoid the toxins. Yes. Where are we? <laughs> Franschhoek. And it's just the street and a few houses up there and a few houses down there. You have a wonderful camera there. Indeed, indeed.